Kodiak canvas. This is the inside of the Kodiak canvas tent. Um, this is a great demonstration. There's about 20 to 30 knots of gusting outside right now with uh, just above 30 degrees temperature. And I've got a uh, thermometer right up there, 60 degrees in here, because I have my diesel heater going. You can see that right there. And my jackery, keeping me nice and toasty. But anyway, this is the inside of the tent, looking towards the door, obviously. Uh, one thing I like to mention is the tent utilizes your tailgate so that's my entire tailgate there so a five foot bed turns into six and a half foot or more plenty of room to lay down and sleep on it has this skirt you can see here that goes underneath and really blocks it there's a little bit of air right there but the material goes down over that still so hardly any draft at all, even in high winds. These are the rails that come with it right here. This rail I'm experimenting with, this is the soft topper rail. So I'm actually using the soft topper for in route, and then once I arrive, I collapse the soft topper, put this tent rail right on top, and I just buckle it down with this C-clamp, and it's, I mean, the winds have been howling all night long, and this is really solid. Um, but anyway, Kodiak Canvas uses these steel, rolled steel poles. They're not the, the nylon or the uh, composite ones. These are super duper strong. And they fasten with these little Velcro strips to give it some more support all the way around. And you can see how it's keeping the tent really tight a nice thing about this versus nylon this is a thick duck canvas but the nylon will flap around and really make a lot of noise this is pretty quiet even in these high winds as you can see it's a very tight fitting tent it'll support three plus inches worth of snow I know because I've done it and you don't have to sit there and knock the snow off it won't sag there's only at two and a half feet between these poles up here so there's not a lot of room for the tent to sag even with a lot of uh, frozen precip on it or rain it just falls right off so um, really awesome tent now as a reminder out the back door here is an awning so if you want to ventilate this door during inclement weather you can do that just simply crack open a window or whatever like that and you can see the awning is pretty substantial outside it'll give you all the protection you need without uh, bringing it the weather inside two of these windows they are um, screened as well and then you have of another vent up here and on the other side is another awning so this could be used in inclement weather and this is a pass-through window you can open this all the way up and get into your truck if you have a pass-through window in your truck and you want to utilize the space in the back seat for pillows or whatever uh, that's a handy option and again this is all protected with the overhang so even if you're transiting items back and forth they're not going to be exposed to the weather this is the soft topper it's all folded up as you can tell it really doesn't take up any extra room uh it's about a not even a minute more to uh, just unsnap that and fold it all the way forward um i kind of got a system of straps here holding it in i got to figure out exactly how i need to attach it here uh to be really secure these work well back here but up front it's a little bit different but either way it's working fantastic um, you'll notice that this Kodiak canvas tent does not come with a liner on the bed um, 
I prefer that actually. The way I do it with the uh, soft topper, everything stays dry and clean in here. So when you roll into camp, you just throw that forward, throw this tin up, and you have a clean surface. I'm using just a standard Toyota rubber mat on the bottom, a little sleeping pad here, and then my uh, zero degree bag, because I like to do a lot of winter camping. Um, and I got plenty of room to lay down. And then what I do, since I'm solo this time, and the weather is really horrible outside, you can imagine the wind chill factor, um, I brought my lounge chair inside. So you can sit inside and read and you can tell there's tons of headroom in here to uh, relax and move around a little bit if you need to. Um, this extends, I don't know, a good foot and a half above the <clears throat> height of the cab. So you get plenty of room to move around. And then I use this little area down here. I've been eating my breakfast and so forth, but plenty of room, definitely. So yeah, and then up front here, um, if you don't have a soft topper, either way, basically the front of the tent here, it has a couple uh, little mesh bags that are buried down here, but uh, this just tucks between the truck bed and the cab. You just tuck it down in there, and then with the straps on the sides, it really secures it well, and you don't get that draft in there. So there you go, that's the inside of the Kodiak canvas tent. Um, this is how I run it. If I have two people, obviously the chair's not in here. And I will uh, just have two sleeping mats here. Or if you do, uh, you can have two chairs. And then when it comes time to bed, you can just fold these up, toss them outside and roll out your thing. So uh, lots and lots of room super happy and you can tell here we are you can hear that wind howling away in fact the wind is so strong it's shaking the truck but you can see this material is hardly moving a little bit of movement up front here I didn't put the other awning up last night um, just because there's no rain or anything. I just kind of left it be. But that's normally a little bit tighter. But still, it's it's barely moving. And the wind's coming directly at us at this corner here. And you can tell it's handling it just fine. The door's not collapsing. It's perfect. Lots of heat coming out of that bad boy. If you're interested, this is a two kilowatt heater. Um, more than enough, I have it on low and it's got it 60 degrees in here, which is 30 degrees more than outside. So really strong. Now over here, this is my diesel heater. I'm gonna try that out. It's gonna get pretty chilly tonight. It's already down like around 40, I think. Um, but this diesel heater should cook me out. I've used a propane, uh, the buddy heater, and I, I only use it for about 10 minutes. And in 19 degree weather outside, it cooks me out about 65 degrees with 10 minutes of operation. So it's almost too much, and I don't really like having open flame inside the truck. Um, and this diesel heater is nice and safe. I can run it all night long, and uh, I don't have to worry about open flame or anything like that. And it barely uses any fuel or any sound. I just picked this tub up at Home Depot and it's a pretty simple operation. If you look inside here, if I can get the lid off. So here's what I've done. I just put everything together inside. I'm gonna run it off a of Jackery, the smallest Jackery they have. And this cord here, as you see, and the controller are long enough, I'm just gonna feed it right through there into the truck. And I just put a little muffler on the outside. And it, that's it. It's really simple. There we go. 
and here's my controller right here anyway you can look these up online they're awesome barely take any fuel nice and quiet and this box is weatherproof so i don't have to worry about the snow or the rain or anything like that so there you go kodiak canvas tent